Hey guys, Eric here. So if you've seen any of my other skateboard unboxing videos, uh, you know that I uh, collect uh, old school decks. Um, as opposed to some of those other videos where I knew what was coming in the mail, um, I actually do not know what uh, this and another box I have are. Um, one I ordered uh, about a month ago. Um, and the other was a gift, so I'm not sure what's actually in here. So, uh, zero prep as far as uh, looking up any history uh, or anything. Um, just kind of do, do this one on the fly and see what's in the box. Was looking at what skate shop it came from, trying to maybe figure out what's in the box, but no luck. All right. Hasoy. Good deal. Okay. So as far as this deck, um, never had a Hasoi board before. My younger brother had one. I think it was his first uh, pro model uh, back in the 80s. Um, my older brother had a Mark Gonzalez. I had a Jeff Kendall graffiti board. And my younger brother had the original Hasoi hammerhead board uh, with just the black and white. Um, this one I ordered. I actually liked this kind of splatter graphic behind there. Um, I thought it was pretty unique. So I picked it up. Um, I recently watched the Hosoi documentary on my way up to uh, Lake Tahoe and learned a lot about him. Um, a great guy, turned his life around, um, which is phenomenal. If you're familiar with Hosoi, um, he invented uh, multiple tricks, uh, the Christ Air, one of his signature tricks. Um, and also the big rivalry between him and Tony Hawk. Um, so he's a great guy. I know he lives down in Orange County. So one thing about Hasoy that I learned from the documentary was um, he always considered himself an artist. And he kind of pioneered these unique shapes that came out in the 80s. Um, he was like, oh, let's change the, the shape of the nose so I can grab it better. And then rather than just these old plain oval shapes. Let's give it some flair here. Let's put this notch in the uh, in the tail for coming up and hitting the coping. Um, just added some some flair and uh, really pioneered um, the skateboard industry at the time. Um, he was also one of the first pros to break off and start his own company. Um, had a falling out with Alva and said I'm taking my board and start my own company. And uh, so that's why a lot of the old school boards, um, like the new ones are, are uh, made um, by Santa Cruz, um, but a lot of the old school boards um, are actually made by Hasoy himself. Uh, I think it's more of a partnership that he has now with Santa Cruz, but uh, as far as manufacturing and marketing, a lot of the old boards were made by Hasoy himself. So I just checked the bottom of the box and there was this, uh, sleeve here and something rolled up inside so I'm like what the heck is that check this out it came with a little Hasoi fingerboard skate hard video <laughs> pretty cool but very stoked to have this board and add it to my collection cool thanks for watching I'm gonna unbox my other uh, Board. Make sure you check out my other videos. And uh, once I'm through all these, I'll want to put together uh, another video where I lay them all out and show my collection to date. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.